Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a plugin which will help you create accommodation booking system for a WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is Jet Booking. This plugin is compatible with Elementor, Gutenberg, as well as the Bricks editor. Using this plugin, you can create different types of booking and rental website. For example, travel agency, car rental, house booking, bike rental, hotel booking, equipment rental, property rental. So you can create fully customizable booking system for your website. And the price of this plugin is only $19 per year. However, in order to use the Jet Booking plugin, you will need to use the Jet Engine plugin also and the pricing of the jet engine plugin is $43 per year. So this is the basic requirement of the jet booking plugin. I have already published videos on how to use the jet engine plugin. However, in this case, it is only a supporting plugin. We are not going to use the jet engine plugin. We will use only the jet booking plugin to create the accommodation booking system. In previous videos, I have shown you how to install and use the WooCommerce accommodation booking plugin. This is the plugin WooCommerce bookings and the price of this plugin plugin is $249. I have also published a video on how to use the YITH bookings plugin. This is the plugin and the price of this plugin is also $249. So using these two plugins also, you can create the accommodation booking system for your WooCommerce website. And in this video, we are going to use the Jet Booking plugin. So you can compare all these three plugins and then decide which plugin will be better option for your website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how we can use the Jet Booking plugin to create the accommodation booking system. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using a WooCommerce on this website. I also have Elementor plugin installed on this website. This is a dummy WooCommerce website, which is designed for the fashion products. I have already installed the Jet Booking plugin as well as the Jet Engine plugin. So let's go to the dashboard and go to the plugins and I'll show you which plugins are installed on this website. We have Elementor, the Jet Booking plugin and the Jet Engine plugin. We also have the WooCommerce plugin installed. So when you install the Jet Booking plugin, you will see an option here, Bookings. Click on it. So this will be the dashboard. So whenever someone makes a booking, it will show on this page. Let's go to Setup. And let me reset it. On the Setup, you will find the option to choose the booking mode. We are going to select WooCommerce based mode. So you need to select this option and click on Start Setup. Now go to Settings. And these are the basic settings of this plugin. The booking mode is WooCommerce based. Booking hold time will be five minutes. So this is the time during which the selected date range will be kept on hold after adding the booking instance into the cart. So whenever someone try to make a booking, that booking date will be kept on hold for five minutes. So you can change the timing also. Filters storage type will be session and cookies labels so, so these are the labels sold out chosen nights days so you will see all these settings here if you want to make changes you can make changes otherwise you can keep it on default labels field settings these are the field settings single field placeholder the date format from here you can select the date format here we have year month and date month date and year date month and year so you can select the date format according to your country. I'm going to keep it as it is. This is separator and first day of week will be, let's say Monday. So current by default, it is set to Monday. Let's go to advanced settings, hide database column manager. I don't think you need to make any changes here. Configuration booking period per night or per day. Allow checkout only days, week long bookings starting day offset minimum days and maximum days so you can also set the minimum days for the booking as well as the maximum days go to schedule and from here you can make the changes to the schedule weekday booking rules so you can set up some rules check in check out all right you can also set the days off you can click on the date and from here you can select the days off 
here you will see tools additional table columns so i'm not going to make any changes here so these are the basic settings of the jet booking plugin you really do not need to make any changes here you can keep them as it is now let's go to products and let's go to all products let me show you some products here this is a demo website for the fashion product so we are going to create a product for the hotel room booking so let's click on add new let's name the product i'm going to name it as luxury room here you can add the description let me add some data all right so these are the basic details of the room and from here from the drop down you can select jet booking product so for the product data you need to select jet booking product and you will see the changes here here you can set the price per day or per night i'm going to make it 50 dollars right now this website is using dollar currency it will show pricing according to your currency click on add rate if you want to add different rates let's say for two days if you want to add some concession you can also add concession like for the first day it will be 50 dollars for the second day it will be 40 dollars All right now here you will see add weekend if you want to set different pricing for the weekends you can select the weekend and change the pricing let's say i want 60 dollars for the saturday as well as sunday so for these two days it will be 60 dollars save it and if you want to add seasonal prices you can also add seasonal prices let's say this is the holiday season so i'm going to name it as holiday price per day will be let's say $70 and you can set the start date let's say from the 13th of March to 20th of March so for this week the price for this room will be $70 per day or per night you can also change the price for the Saturday and Sunday or weekends now this is about the pricing now let's go to the next option that is custom schedule if you want to use the custom schedule you can use the custom schedule for this particular room then we have date picker configuration you can enable and set up the date picker configuration for this apartment or the room let's say week long bookings if this option is checked only week long bookings are allowed starting day offset this string defines offset for the earliest date which is available to the user minimum day is maximum day so i'm not going to use this option upcoming bookings now you can also manage the units let's say i have five same luxury rooms so i can manage that so i'm going to change the number here let's say i have five same luxury units or the luxury rooms. so i'm going to enter the number here and the title will be the same title let's say luxury room and click on add units now you will see luxury room number one two three four five so we have added five rooms of the same type all right now here you can add some short description let's get some short description from here now in the right hand column we have set product image so i'm going to add product image here that will be your room image and let's add the gallery also all right now here you can create a category so i'm going to create a category luxury rooms and click on add new category so if you are using a website specially designed for the hotel booking then you can create the categories according to your requirements then if you want you can also add tags product attribute you don't need to make any changes here these are the astro settings on this website i'm using astro theme all right let's click on publish and let's open the page and this is how it will look you will see the featured image then we have gallery images now this layout depends on your current theme on this website i'm using astro theme and this is the layout for the single product page basically the hotel room is our product and this is the layout for the single product page if you are using any other theme you will see an option to customize the single product page layout if you are using elementor or elementor pro plugin then you can use the elementor theme builder to customize the layout of the single product page i have published separate videos on how to customize the single product page 
using Elementor as well as using the Astra theme. So here we have featured image and gallery images. This is the title. Then we have pricing for this room and free shipping is not really required. So you can go to customization of your theme and from there you can remove this content. All right, if I go to customize here, this is the Astro settings. This is the shipping text. I can disable it and you will see that text is gone. And here at the top, we have the category. This is the actually category. So I can disable that also. All right, so that is also gone. This is the title, then we have price, the short description, then we have calendar for booking, and then we have description. All right, I can publish it. So we have just changed the single product page layout in the Astra theme. Now let's go back to the product page and refresh it. Now I'm going to select the date. So you can click on the date and let's say I'm going to select Monday one night. So this will be one night and the pricing will be $50. All right. If I go ahead and select weekend, you will see the pricing is $60. If I select two days here, let's say Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Let me select Saturday to Monday morning and you will see it is $120 for the two days because this is on the weekend. Now, if I go ahead and select within this time period, we have where we have seasonal period 13th of March to 20th of March. So I'm going to select 13. It will be one night and you will see the pricing is $70. You will see it here. For the holiday season between 13th to 20th of March, we have $70. See, if I go ahead and select two days, it will be for $140. All right, I can click on book now and it will be added to the shopping cart. You will see the shopping cart here. So I can click on it. And this is the shopping cart. Click on view cart. And you will see the details here. Let's go to checkout. And these are the details. Let me fill up the form here. You can place order. And the order is placed. Now let's go back to dashboard here and go to bookings. And you will see the order is placed. I can go to the order and it will show the details of the order. So here you will see all the details, the name, the address, the phone number, email address. All right, so the status is pending payment on hold, completed, canceled, refunded, failed, draft. So you can change the status also, or you can go to orders here. And on the orders also, you will see the same booking details. And if you want to add payment gateway, you can simply go to settings, go to payments. And from here, you can add the payment gateway, the online payment gateway for your website. As of now, cash on delivery is enabled. You can also add Woo payment, Stripe, Ideal, Klarna, WeChat, or you can also add PayPal or Stripe. I have already published videos on how to add the PayPal and other payment gateways to your WooCommerce website. The pricing of this plugin is only $19 per year. And along with Jet Booking plugin, you will also need to get the Jet Engine plugin, which will cost you only $43 per year. So in total, it is going to cost you around $63 per year. If you want, you can also go for the bundle, the Croco Block bundle of 20 Jet plugins which will cost you $199 per year. Or you can also go for the WooCommerce Bookings plugin, which will cost you around $249 per year. Or you can go for YITH WooCommerce Bookings plugin, which will cost you again $249. So you can compare all these plugins and then decide which plugin will be a better option for your WooCommerce booking system. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.